Yokoze has been drawing on crowdsourcing to generate a multitude of conspiracy theories. The group has commissioned a series of micro-tasks, each of them being almost completely meaningless. However, when put together, the tasks collectively contributed to generate a series of potential paranoias. The results have been commissioned, collected, organized and exhibited by the artist group, showing the result of a process of mechanical and unemotional involvement of the participants in the process of writing and protesting against conspiratory narratives. The website acrowdedapocalypse.com displays the stages through which Yokoze has commissioned the production of conspiracy theories. In the first stage, Yokoze asked the crowd to draw a symbol. Then the crowd has provided names of corporations, governments, religious groups and mythical characters which they believed could be threatening for the whole humankind. Afterwards, these names and the symbol were combined by the crowd to generate evidences of a group of conspirators. These evidences then became the input for generating a series of narratives which were further refined into short slogans through a series of micro-commissions. In the final stage, online workers were asked to write one of the crowdsourced slogans on a board, go into the streets and take a photo of themselves, having their face covered, so as to simulate a crowdsourced global conspiracy. A crowded apocalypse t intends to investigate how new forms of affection emerge through working practices based in network technologies. Crowdsourcing, defined by Amazon, artificial artificial intelligence, has been enthusiastically received in recent years as the realization of the dream of a global scale collective intelligence. A crowded apocalypse looks at the aftermath of this utopia. How can we think, see, and filter affect through the forms of participation required by similar kinds of labor? What sort of individuals are appearing, in first person, in the photos of the final stage of the project? Why are some of them showing a feeling of enjoyment in being asked to cover their faces and do something almost completely meaningless for a few cents of a dollar? What is at stake in simulating participation and emotional engagement?